hurt. Every other nation would have to worry about crime in their neighborhood. Every other nation would have to be worried about prostitution and drugs being pumped in their neighborhood. But they don't worry about that. Only our people. Keep going. The, the Lord did not set his love upon you. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's get to it. All right? Now let's get to the reason why we're in this condition. All right? We're going to bring out more, uh, more, more proof that God does not make everybody equal. All right? Sis, where did you learn that from? We we go ahead and read. What does it say? King James Version. King James Version. The same the same verse you got on your phone in these Christian churches. Your grandmother got it. What? The same one that's collecting dust on y'all's table. That's what it is. That same Bible. All right. Now listen to this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Let's go. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. We're gonna have more proof about this. We can go all night. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Amen to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So God said, children of Israel, you so-called black man, if you listen to my commandments and obey me, what's going to happen? That the Lord thy God will set thee on, above on high. Hold on, take the time, go ahead. The Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. There you go again. That's another scripture. God said, if, the, if you so-called if you so -called blacks listen to me, I'm going to put you above all nations. You're going to be a blessed people, correct? That's what the Bible just said. Now listen, now just like a parent, because God deals with us as children. Hold that, hold that real quick. Go to Exodus chapter 5, verse 1. I'm going to prove to you that God only calls the nation of Israel his children and nobody else. Everybody else is considered a bastard in the Bible. If you're not a children of Israel, you are a bastard. You had nothing to do with the Lord. Exodus 5 and 1. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 5 and verse 1. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. Now go to Exodus 4 and 22. That's what I wanted. All right, he said, let my people go. That's who the Lord was, that's who, uh, the Lord was talking to. Let Israel go, my people. All right, Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the who? Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. Even my firstborn. Head. And I will say unto thee, let my son go. Let my son go. That's what the Lord is saying. He's speaking to the nation of Israel. Now remember, everybody thinks that, that the, uh, all black people are alike. But the Egyptians were black, correct? Moses was black. So he's making a difference. There's a difference between Egyptians and Israelites. We are not the same. Right. They, are, they are of Ham. We are of Shem. There's a difference, okay? Now go back to Deuteronomy 28, all right? Now, remember what I said. The Bible said that if the nation of Israel were to keep his laws, that God will put them above all nations on this earth. Now, like a parent, if, the, if your child does well, you reward them, right? You, you do something good for them. You give them a little treat, whatever, right? But if your child disobeys you, what do you do? What do you do if your child disobeys you? You got any nieces, anything? Nieces, uh, anybody you babysit? If they don't, if they don't listen to you, they what? They give them whippings. They give them whippings. She knows that. All praise to the Father. That's a good thing, though. So we're going to read what God, our Father, said to the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. He said, if you don't listen to me, if you continue to be disobedient and not follow my laws, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, we're going to be at the bottom. We're going to be a cursed nation and nobody's going to take us serious, all right? So there's no such thing as equality. Either the Israelites are on top of everybody or we're at the bottom in the slums. Right, right. Taking the worst of the worst. Listen, for example, what do y'all say? What's your grocery store at? Where's the, where's the nearest Walmart or Costco's or uh, Fresh Farms? Where's that at around here? It's about what? You got a Fresh Farm around here? Nope. What y'all got? Y'all got what? They got, they got Kings that burn they got down. They got a Kings that burn down, right? A food desert. A food desert. That's what y'all got. Y'all get the worst of the worst here. This is not just here. Though. This is every community that we live in. Why is it our people that suffer that? Because we broke the laws of God. Right. And he's teaching us a lesson right now. Because you're not supposed to be at the bottom. That's not your position. God says that you're better than that. All right? Now, give me, give me a curse. I'm going to prove to you that you're a child of God. Curse shall thou, curse shall thou be in the city. He says, curse thou shalt thou be in the city. So every city that we live in, all across the world, we live in the slums. That's, that's evident. All right? It don't matter where you go. 
If there's a nasty, if there's a nasty rundown neighborhood, our people populate that. Trust me. Go ahead. And curse shall thou be in the field. Even in the fields. All right. How would how are we curse in the field, sis? How were our people, our ancestors, cursed in the field? What happened to us? Your ancestors. What did they do in the fields? What were they doing in the fields? Picking cotton. There you go. Sugar cane. Picking fruits. Whatever. Right. We were doing it for free. Not getting paid. That's how we was cursed. But keep going. Curse shall thou bask. Be thy basket in thy store. The basket in thy store. All right? That's what it's talking about. We get the worst of the worst. We cannot get the fresh foods. We get the old stuff. We got the, we got the, um, the little bread outlets, right? The old bread they ship it to the outlets. That's what we get. We get the molded stuff. That's what God says is going to happen to us. All right? Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughter shall be given unto another people. It says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That means separation. If we was all the same, it wouldn't be in such thing as another people. He's telling you that your people, your ancestors' children, would be given unto a whole other nation. Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. Now, when did that happen, sis? We go back to slavery. We've all seen Roots or 12 Years a Slave or something like that. When they take somebody's child and they ship it to another plantation, the mother's crying her eyes out. What, what happened with Kizzy and Roots? Well, she got shipped to another plantation. Mother was bawling her eyes out, right? And slavery, when you got your child taken, imagine this, sis. Hey, little, my brother, my brother, imagine this. You with your parents, right? And then they come and take you and ship you to a whole nother, whole nother plantation. You've never seen your parents again. How would that make you feel? Mad. You said what? Mad and sad. Mad and sad. Even the sister knows that. These are curses that really happen to us. And this is what they need to know. Are y'all learning this in school? Y'all learn that your people were put in slavery and hardcore bondage? Imagine working in a field all day long in the hot sun, picking food, or even in the cold. We did it in the cold too. Sore, beat up. They get no rest, and you're still getting beat when you when you don't get your quota, or because if they want to do it, how would that make you feel? Mad, right? And that's how you should feel. All right, give me verse. Uh, give me verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even until the other. He said he's going to take the children of Israel and scatter them all across the earth to other people. All right? What did that happen? In slavery. When they put us on them boats and they push us, they push us over here on this side of the world. They push us over there in Brazil, over there in Iran. And every part of the, in this world, our people are scattered. And we serve slavery to every nation. There's not a nation in it, on this earth that did not have us in oppression. That did not have us in slavery. Every nation took hand in our oppression. All right? That's evident. It don't matter where you go. We're a laughing stock. We're called niggas in, in other words, other by words. That's what we're called. Right. Keep going. In there. Thou shalt serve other gods. He said, and there you're going to serve other gods, meaning we're going, to, we're going to go away from our Bible. Because remember, when we go into slavery, we lose our name, our heritage, customs, things that we know, our family. We don't know nothing. What do we know now? What we're taught. And our enemies teach us what they know. They know a white Jesus. They know a Quran. They know a Buddha. They know a uh, celebrate the stars and moons. They, that's what they do. All right? God never told us to do that. We, we learned that from our oppressors. Everything that we learned was from our oppressors in slavery. And that's a curse on us. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is community.